Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iPhone applications are not updating. Now this happens sometimes. It doesn't happen to me every single time I update an app, but it was pretty common at one point. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is making sure that you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection and all that stuff, which I think you guys probably are if you're able to log into the app store and get into here. Now as you can see, I have an update for TikTok. Sometimes it doesn't happen every time, but there were times where I would go ahead and click update and it would actually not update properly. Now, the reason mostly why that happened was because the application for some reason was in a queue of being updated. So when you click update for a ton of different apps, sometimes it'll actually go ahead and, you know, like you saw TikTok, it'll gray out. It'll update like one app at a time or a couple apps at a time. And sometimes if you don't, and sometimes if you click on update for a 30,000 different apps, then it can take some time. So you may just want to wait it out. As long as you see open right here, there is no update available for that application. So if you don't see an update, then that means there's just no update for that app and you're going to have to wait until they push out an update. But you can see there was an update available here and there isn't anymore. Now, for some reason you do that and there's still no updates available or whatever the case is, the next thing I'd recommend doing is deleting that app and adding it back in. So let's say there was an update for Jetpack Joyride, okay? And for some reason, it's just not going through and it's not working properly. What I would do is I would go ahead and delete that app, just like how I did here. And then I would go back into the App Store, just like this. And I would type in that name of the app, just like this. I would find that same application. And you can see you have now the cloud icon. I would go ahead and download that app and it should work perfectly fine. You know, if it doesn't update properly, then you can just download or re-download that app and usually it'll go and fix it in and of itself. Now, the final thing is, you know, if you're rocking a super old iPhone, so if you have an iPhone that's on an outdated version of software, things like an iPhone 5, iPhone 4, iPhone even like a 6 or 5S, sometimes the application developers will not go and update that specific app on that specific version of software. So you're pretty much just going to have to wait it out or get a new phone in order to actually download the latest version of that application. So these are just a couple ways to fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.